write in a college class. Illustration gives examples to show something. Argument gives reasons to argue a position. Classification describes types of something. Compare and contrast give either similarities or differences between things. And cause and effect gives either the causes or the effects of something. These five types of essays follow similar structures. And that includes the structure of the body paragraphs. The body paragraphs in those types of essays will all have this structure. They'll start with a topic sentence, and they should have between two and four supporting ideas. Here you're seeing three supporting ideas. That's rather standard. And then you'll have a couple of details or examples for each of the supporting ideas. And then you'll end each body paragraph with a conclusion sentence or transition sentence that helps the paragraph flow to the next paragraph. Each supporting idea supports the topic sentence, so it has to relate back to that idea. Each detail and example have to support the supporting idea. The details and examples are the most specific sentences in the paragraph. The purpose of the supporting ideas is to show what you mean by the topic sentence, and the purpose of the details is to show what you mean by the supports. That's why they get more specific as you go, because you're showing the reader more specifically what you're trying to say. The topic sentences in your body paragraphs should have two parts, the topic and controlling idea. That should sound familiar to you because that's what a thesis also has. A topic sentence is similar to a thesis, but the topic sentence controls that paragraph. Each topic sentence also must support the thesis statement. And you do this by using key words from the thesis statement. Remember, your thesis statement must be specific, and you use nouns instead of pronouns so that it is specific. And those nouns from your thesis statement become key words that you'll repeat in your topic sentence. This will help your reader to follow along with your point. You also should use transitions on your topic sentences. And because we're using key words, you're going to avoid pronouns in your topic sentences. Let's look at a sample thesis statement. Every citizen should learn to speak a second language. This is the point that the writer wants to make, and the writer will need at least three body paragraphs to support this thesis. For the first topic sentence, the student decides to say, first, speaking another language broadens a person's view of the world. So that's the first point he's going to make to support that thesis. 
For the second topic sentence, he says, another reason is that learning a second language opens job opportunities. And for the third third topic sentence, finally, learning a new language improves mental function. These are the three reasons that the writer thinks every citizen should learn to speak a second language. Each of these topic sentences will start a body paragraph in the essay. Now, in each of those body paragraphs, every citizen should learn to speak a second language. Each of these topic sentences will start a body paragraph in the essay. Now, in each of those body paragraphs, we have to have support. Each one has to relate back to the topic sentence. Everything in the body paragraphs has to relate to that topic sentence. Let's look at an example. Here's our first topic sentence again. And here are three ideas that the writer has that will support that topic sentence. The thing that we're trying to support is that speaking another language broadens a person's view of the world. They become aware of different cultures. They think about subjects they've never thought about. They learn about different countries. Those are three things that support the topic sentence that says speaking another language broadens a person's view of the world. And then we need details for each of those supports. So this is the first support. They become aware of different 